communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator. Gamsel, yeah, Yaiba Rom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop and you don't have to worry about the exchange rate tell me how baluo works it's very simple just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone you can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends with baluo you decide what your money is spent on your money your choice buy online products for your family and friends in the gambia Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three or four bedrooms. Oh, our... we'll, we'll have a um, common prayer. Each one in your own tongue, as we say. And then I will conclude the prayer with the Islamic way of praying. Thank you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Rahmanir Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا السراط المستقيم سراط اللجين عن طمت عليهم غير البحدوب عليهم ولا الدالين الحمد لله هادنا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هادنا الله الأول والآخر والزاخر والباطن يا ربنا لك الحمد يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبهي وجلال وجهك وأزيما سلطانك وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد خاتم النبي وإمام المسلمين بحرمتي اللهم فصلي وسلم وبارك على هذا النبي الكريم سيد سند الأزيم زرق البر الرحيم سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما ربنا عطينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار سبحان ربي كتب الإزة أما يزفون وسلام على المسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين آمين ما شكرا إمام جالا uh, Council, I believe we are continuing with uh, Mr. Mr. Mboj from yesterday's uh, testimony. If that is the case, then you may please proceed. Um, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and members of the audience. We are ready to proceed with uh, yesterday's witness, Mr. Lamin K. Mboj. Thank may you. Him be, Thank you. May he be brought in, please. Good morning, Learned Council. Uh, is Good morning, Council. Lead Council. Learned Council. Good morning, Learned Council. 
Welcome back to the TRRC. Bismillah, TRRC. Kotenge. Thank you very much. Numbara. Uh, may I remind you that you are still on the oath? And as you very well know, the warnings that I that I informed you of yesterday still apply. Could you confirm? Thank you. I remember everything. Uh, yesterday, we mm. were dealing with your personal experiences. Of human rights violations during the Jame era. And you have explained some of the personal experiences you had. Of interference with the judicial work. And you've given us several examples. Examples of uh, magistrates giving certain decisions. The government is not happy with those decisions. And uh, some punitive measures taken against uh, that magistrate. And you've talked about your own experience in Basse. Where in you are basically uh, transferred or oh, starting from Banjul to be more precise you were transferred from jurisdiction to jurisdiction because of unhappiness with some of the decisions that you've made uh, and one example you gave was particularly interesting. That is the case of the July 22nd movement people in Wuli. July 22nd Wuli. Uh, people like Kandakase Jawara, Juwaras, and others. Uh, you then talked about a very interesting case in which you were involved in. The case of Hamadi Sow. Uh, that is a very interesting one. And uh, now we started talking about the case of uh, Pahari Jame. And uh, Lamin Jobate. Lamin Jobate. And Joguba. And uh, Joguba. Could you proceed from yeah. there and tell us about that case? You, you've gone as far as telling us about the assignment of the case. To, to, to justice in Kia. Thank you very much. Um, um, that was a peculiar case. That is the case of the state against Dr. Njoguba. Because that was the first one, that was the economic crime charge. Let's talk briefly about the economic crime law. Let's talk briefly about the economic The economic crimes act 
You would agree is in fact a revamped dress, pretty much. It was a decree and it's now dressed into an act of parliament. Or an act for that matter. And we not na yelemani na na dun na luwa buko buko njiko na kafme act. Yes, I'll agree with that. That's all now, Lale. It's a decree that was having a double effect on the citizenry. Luwa sartilo me alonko ay tu kumfula le suru banku dingu lukang. In fact, its provisions are pretty much antithetical to the human rights provisions of the of of the constitution. Adu fenne me yalonko ala nyati li nyalu fangolu e kule me yalonko ay kodi bindile hadama dingulu banko dingulu fangolu la karola Yes, I'll agree with it to an extent. That's why I said it has a double effect. Ha, ambe sonna alale kufukata hafuta oto wala nanko e ay kufula le soto ay men sababu mulu. Yeah, the first is the positive effect of uh, of uh, preventing people from abusing their powers and offices and acting in excess. Follow, Wolem Ninti, a sarto, a la lodu la bijel main se molu bali kruya keola, ka la natambo ke officer kono, ka fanko tinya, an inka kuolu ke meni alonko in sarto manta anyola. But I as a molu bali wala. But even at that, and uh, Mr. Mboch, legally speaking, you could argue that those provisions are redundant. Because what, what they seek to do could be achieved by other provisions in the criminal code. Well, I'm going to go. Hello, Fango. I'm going to go to the last one. 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 I'm going to go to the Yeah, that I will agree with. Uh, to the extent that uh, the negative effect of the economic crimes decree. Ha, I'm not sure now, Lale. Because when you see, you find that in a certain way, alone, the thing, all of a sudden, alone, go mu kujen kering uninneti, maye mantoro sabu. Is to use it to silence critics of the then administration. Ya wuli ni na kama kamolo dendi many alone ko. Wolekata moluti menuka doya roke kulula menuka te kuti nyari moluti menuka bo sembeti ola karola. And uh, by pretty much including it as a saved act by the constitution, you basically tied. You cannot challenge its constitutionality in view of the fact that it is already sanctioned by the constitution. Arhani ka bi koming abelari nyame wuku is luwa nyinkono. Yes, uh, you know, in law it's very difficult to make conclusions. Ha, umutro nyali, katunye lua lanya dolu jibe, akakoleale purkata kuote ya nufu kuoda ndula. Because there is a way out of every situation. Yeah, I will agree with you to an extent, but then it is possible to challenge its provisions for being unconstitutional and being unlawful when they need arises. Kafoko, a kulo meni sarto manta wala ni lua manta, a barbitun silo bijele, mosi a tukum balano, a tukum la dami ning, ayatara, a mfutatama hanfo a kuulita. Well, Mr. Moja, we would leave this debate for some other day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Kasu. But, but you, you would Kasu. agree with me that the test of constitutionality is the constitution itself. Yeah, also to an extent, not 100%, because if a law is inconsistent with the Constitution, it is null and void to the extent of its inconsistency. 
Ah, Kaduni aji be ni lua atata ke fenti me ya longo amalo la soro na eh, banko la lua sarti bukuba nyingo no. <laughs> Wado mu kulet me ya longo kasi landi karala. Uh, that is a basic rule of interpretation in constitutional law. Lua la karola kala kana soro ni wama la grupi folo de ni aji be lua la karola. That is why I said the test of constitutionality. Wale zabunko puru lua ni ala koto boro is the constitution itself. So in order to be able to determine whether a law is inconsistent with the constitution and therefore unconstitutional, you have to put it against the constitution. Is that not the case? Yes. But when the law is saved by the constitution, just like the decrees, it is pretty much. It depends on how it is done, but it looks like it has been incorporated into the Constitution. I haven't looked at the provision to, to see the actual effect of what they have done. But if it is incorporated into the constitution, you but therefore cannot challenge it anymore. Because it is now part of the constitution. Yes, I uh, will agree with you, Council, again. But uh, it's to yeah. but, but anyway, let's leave this for another yeah, that's, day. Uh, I, because a constitutional I, issue, yes. yes. Uh, but, but for now, we just agree uh, that that law is a draconian law. Exactly. Yeah, part of it, the latter part of the decree, especially on the issue of bail, is where the unconstitutionality arises. Ah, Mbeson now la bari, eh, ala fanna do meya longko amang eh, akeja uyata. Wole ala bandula meya longko, belko bako no membalanta belko la wole fango ni insarto lumanta. And like you said, in, in spite of its good aspects, Koyafo nyame nko ye ala, ala kendea nying fanna do la. It was liable or amenable to abuse by the executive. Yeah, I will agree with that. I will say rather that it was designed in purpose to silent critics because anyone in the system then. Those days. That, that's, a, that's a damning statement, Mr. Yes. Boch. Yes. Uh, uh, wouldn't you be contented with just the formulation that it was used instead of designed? Because the design and the use may be different. It may have been designed with uh, with uh, bona, with uh, good faith uh, uh, objectives, with uh, with great bona fides, uh, but its application may, may may have been malafides. But if I did all that, we may not have learned. As a keno, a ketanga ni a kendo lekama. But if I tamandi that we may not. Doli yake ya kenyina kama nyado nyama puruka imuna fangala ka dunola doluka. Yeah, I have a reason for saying so. Ngada lilo soto lene puruka ofu? The promulgation of the decree. A decree nyi sarto nyi mfanga bebanke la tumomeng. Came at a time that the then government of the APRC was. AFPRC. AFPRC was trying to establish itself. A fendi tatu mo mena watu mo mansa kunda mbelori nuno tilo lukono memu AFPRC mansa kunda ati iba kataka mo watu mo le purka isimulu londi kabamba. And then there were so many critics. 
It, w- it was promulgated at that time when anyone criticizes the system. And we are willing, we are the the You become the victim of the, the, the act or the law. Exactly. Uh, well, uh, that, is, that is a belief you have. I, I, I beg to differ. That was my understanding. And, uh, and I, I beg to differ. For I think uh, the Economic Crimes Act was, was Decree 33. Decree uh, And. Uh, that was passed very early on uh, in, in view of the AFPRC mantra of transparency, probity, and accountability. You remember that? I remember, I remember that very well. And, and the belief at the time was there was a lot of theft of uh, public resources leading to economic significant economic losses and um, it all lot of men and wala ngin di ko wato la e fanko suñaro sia batan wo wato wala ya sabu e to jikita ngin pour ka ngin wata ka dundi ka dum mansa kunda fo kan naful jamalla so it was passed at that time the objective may have been laudable e ya munda ya luwa ngin dundi wo wato la bari hamen ko meddu na sike no ay ke hamen ko kendo tin but it was seen that it could be used to club a political enemies. And the Hence, the charge against your clients. Because what would constitute economic losses is, is quite easy. So tell us about the case. The charge was economic crimes. Yeah, um, no, we have procedures guiding the courts. But the then sector general who was supposed to be the principal witness name I believe uh, Sabale he replaced Dr. Joguba which La- Sabale? Momodu Sabale later like I find Momodu Sabale until I say that Dr. Joguba I don't want to say he refused to come to court but he failed to come to court to testify was he subpoenaed to he should have been a prosecution witness but i can recall that uh, we the defense have requested for his personal attendance as what? As a, as a principal witness for the prosecution. But the ruling went against us. Of, of course. But <laughs> in it, it is the prosecution's case. Of course. And he sent it, it someone. It would have been shocking if the if the court had ruled in your favor. And if we are going to bring other people in, yeah, can we bring Kuntum to the court? He delegated a witness. They said they don't represent him. We are not a lawyer. And that was the only witness for the prosecution. And what that man said was that he didn't he didn't rule at all. But the funny part of the defense. Was the diary that was my client's main exhibit? 
wolem diary ti ka kolu sa fe buko men ko num kuke talu wolem mon de la mola sede bambande nguti i still have that diary with me in my office o diary hanim bi abente bulu len na office o kono where do we accuse person recorded in his own handwriting the instructions of the former president yeah gameng ni muta mo fangoye kuma kangolu sa fe a fango bulo la diary men ko no damen me yalon ko wolle keta kuma kangolu ti menu bata wutu mo president bulu ya jamme as a defense to indicate that he did receive instructions for the arrest and prosecution of the then justice wowo andu wolam nyinti we nyine yitandi ko ya marol ye nyine yitandi ko pour ye mo muta aninka kitindi me yalon ko wutu mo wolam kitindi la ti kafa me justice wowo in order to uh, appreciate the import of what you have just said perhaps give us a brief song. background into the case what was the case about so that we can understand actually case nyim fan ka dunga ko no ban ya be fonnye ab tata nyame pour nsa faham case nyim e wala ka men sata moleja this was a complex case and it's intertwined ni mukiti le ti meyalon ko duladolu ala kolu selta nyo kam bari duladolu ala kolu dunta nyo to baake break it down into simple facts that we can understand a bonni nyo do nyaala meyalon ko mbaasu mbaasu mba mba faham lele um justice wowo was a judge of the high in fact he was a state counsel he started as a state counsel before he was appointed a judge Uh, justice wo ya da mota tumo na man sakunda la kitendir la moti wo janning iba tombo na ka ke kitite la ti jojoti and then while serving as a judge he was elevated and promoted to the court of appeal wa to men abo kitite bundala o tumo le na tala place la fa ka selendi ka samba kiti sain kam bundala within a short period of time wa ti sutum fa ngokono de roughly about 6 months kare woro wuti o kono and then elevated again to the position of the chief justice and in atala palaso saying kang teriandi ka lafa ka samba ka ke kitindir la kuntiuti wala chief justice but then the uh, sacking of uh, pa hari jamme and lawyer lamin jobate bare pa hari jamme ila bayo atening lawyer lamin jobate was an issue at the time mu kuleti wote mbo membe lori and then the from my client's instructions abonte la kliano la ya marolu kang he was instructed to ensure the arrest and prosecution of then justice wowo ye nyina fay pro asi kolu tamandi mensa sababu pour ye justice wowo muta ka kitindi but uh, then pahari was solicitor general wo tembo pa hari mu solicito general leti and uh, uh, my learned senior jobate was a minister of justice alun na ke ba me ya lonko e wolam la min jobate ti atelo minister ti wotumo me mata kitol nin tilimula these were present at the time of the instruction the time the instruction was given to the secretary general alun nyilu ya sede ale wato me bo ya marolu di la secretary general fangola and then after the instruction was given by the president president fo ya marol di tu momen which was recorded by my client on his diary me ya lon ko tela client o fang bulole ya safi a fang la diary ko no and and had by the attorney general and the solicitor general all at the same time at the same time and the attorney general ni solicitor general be tu lo ba lay ya sede ya wati kilimula the instruction was carried out alawo ya mari kan lo yewle tamandi Wowo was arrested. Ye wowo muta. He was charged. Ya tumi. I can't recall the charge. Dudu ya tumi men nan hakilo wo muta. But then there was a change in circumstances. Bari falimu na take kolu la nya to de. And the then president ya jamme. And wo dum wo ya jamme atelo president wati. Reneech on his instructions. Ana ta alaw kuma kangolo asay ta ko makafa kawolu bayi. And said he did not give the instruction. Anatar nyina foko ate mawo ya marolu di because there was a diplomatic issue which arose as a result of the fact that Justice Wowo is an American citizen. 
dia momen na ta wuli o ko la wolam nyinti ko e ko lu nyil na ta koleyabulu kartu na ta nyina je ko justice wo wo atemu america banku dingo leti and had an american passport adum america passport o le babulo ko so he wo he had dual nationality dual nationality dual yes nda banku di fula dingo le moati and then when the american embassy got involved into the case to bring America la embassy o ye da bula kito nyin kono and raise issues about the legality of his arrest and his trial ina ta kolu wulindi men no tilinta ala muto ni ngala kito la tilimbali ala and then there was a change of instructions to ya marol na ta falin ko take wutumo that he never gave the instructions at me ye ya marol dinum sedo lu nyala na ta lo ko ate mawo ya marol that led to the arrest of both njogu and pahari and jobate wala na ta ke sababoti ye njogu ni mpahari muta ani lamin jobat and that warranted but, but that could have only given rise to a charge of abuse of office abuse of office and uh, and false information abuse of office abuse was of a charge wo simen wulindi no wala ka foko ye ye tinyaro le kela wala ye tilimbal ya le kela office o kono okay um whilst the trial was ongoing on the abuse of office kito betama kan tumo men na wo tumiro la karola kafo ye tilimbali ale ke office o kono let me ask this question aru ngenyinin ka nyinyinin how could have sabali been a witness sabali be kenola sedo or his representative how could either of them have been warando ni itol do witness to this case itol do do be kenola sedo de nyadi le nyifo sabali was then the I don't want to say deputy secretary general but he was a direct assistant to the then secretary general Njoguba. Ja sabalim manke secretary general ti wotumo de barbitum a tele simbe secretary general kan wotumo mem Dr Njoguba ti and he was like an assistant to Njogu because he said he was present then when he, the instruction was given. Andong atelo moti mem sinan ko be njogu bakan ka to tumo ka fana mbijele wo molu be fala tumo men I I think this was a case where the witnesses would be those who personally perceived what happened so I wonder how such can be delegated to somebody else Ma mere nyimbe kala kula de meyalo ko sedo le meyalo fo meyalo to fon be num je njaka yen njaka le nyimbe keno la nyadi le mo be wumo wulindi no la nyadi le ba idol mo be ma be ringe that was the very reason why we were asking for his appearance personal appearance wo dali lo le ya sabu ndel yen nyin kanin ko afango kumo yena kiti bunda nyin but that was not the case bar bi tu o man na ta instead of coming to court bro ate fango yena ma be kiti he wrote his statement aya la kuma kalimolu sa gave it to the witness aya di sede do la tendered as an exhibit bro ka itan di ko nyim mo ate la kuma kan from the basis of his evidence bro wala be kala ate la sede ya ro kuma kan luti but that is on law romu luanta yali that was the order of the day that statement was wrongfully admitted wo kuma kango ya dundile ko lu kono meme fango ni sarto manda that is clearly a case of hearsay mu kuma le candidate me alon ko moyla ko moyla moyla kuma kango le wodi and the diary which was the most relevant document in the trial was contemporary rejected because it was not rejected it was returned Diary me ya lonko wala nyanta kala sede bamban di ngoti kumolu safeta meme kono ya manka koy balanta la de bari ya murundile i tendered the diary as an exhibit ntanga o diary sambale ka ke sede kamoti it was neither admitted nor rejected bidung imana songa tala bari imam balanga la fana but there is no such position as evidence in limbo uh, you can mark it for identification <laughs> but uh, and use it subsequently and even marked for identification is not used in gambian practice it's used in the international tribunals but there is no repository for evidence in limbo lu o cdr sifa atana lu al fango kon hanna ro daire ni hanni yar bi nyan isa isa tanon ni ba kala no suter langolti but hanna ro suter lan fan dolal lu al tamon ni nyaro atendu at mamira beje ni banku ni benka kiti bundal de wala kay muna fan ka ni festival ta ka ke suter lan ka fme id bari dolal jang ateje um the the narration is creating a scene a sataro be kule wulindi kan uh that will be unfold as we go along 
Because uh, even though the then justice care was very, we were very close. But I will uh, simply say there was a travesty of justice in the case. Yeah, because after the rejection of the diary, it was neither admitted nor rejected. But, 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 with all due respect, Mr. Mboj, what you've just said is a contradiction in terms. Yeah, but After the rejection of the diary, it was neither admitted nor rejected. Is a contradiction in terms. After the return of the diary, thank you. Thank you After the return of the diary, yes. And I would, wouldn't that amount to constructive rejection of the evidence, if you will? Oh, kiti yoko no foto kela nyindi kwa foko rong. Sede ya nro nyingi, ibalanta hala lako, tilimbali yako no, mwosa foto. No, 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 no. no. Uh, uh, I say constructive rejection of it. Uh, can it be interpreted to mean that your, admi your application to admit the diary was rejected, considering that the evidence was not allowed in? Well, uh, that was uh, yes. I will say yes because uh, that's a constructive rejection of the diary, but I think it was intended also on purpose. Uh, did you file an interlocutory appeal on that issue, if that is appealable? Because I think that was the heart of the case. Was government interlocutory appeal? There is no time then for interlocutory appeals. So before you will even get your records before the appeal court, the case would have been decided. Uh, uh, I ask this question just mainly for the purposes of our recommendation. Aren't interlocutory appeals given priority such that I mean, they could easily be disposed of and cases continue? This is a criminal proceeding. Interlocutory appeals are not a ground for a stay of proceedings in the, cow, in the, in the main trial. And even if we had filed an interlocutory appeal, it will not be heard before we determine the main trial. Because I will add here that we know as a team that we are just defending our clients but because it is a legal requirement but the result it was obvious there will be a conviction so you just went through the motions yeah, we were just going through the trial, but I know for sure the result will be an obvious conviction. At that was what happened. Um, did you at any point in time harbor any expectations? That you could secure an acquittal. We were on the verge of success getting an acquittal. Because the evidence of the prosecution was too weak. And the evidence of the defense was overwhelming. 
ndel men be lorin tankandiro la carola ndel la sede kolu wo sembo warabata warabata le wotumo but the trial judge barikiti ndir la fang who was justice nkia mi yalon ke ka fatale justice nkia i think news got round that he was going to acquit and discharge them nyinki baro nga miracle wole janjanta kafo abe nyim molu bulalale ye ye bulaita and on judgment day you were very hopeful on the kiti tel won nyin wato be jikirim bak i was hopeful 100% that we were going to get an acquittal katu wolung ninjiki fari ngole tata je ko e ben nam molu bulalale and you went to court with so much hope and euphoria munde ndana data kiti dula to be jikirim bari ko nyala nyala bawo nyin ko nyin nata nake jiki kenza wati exactly what happened ah wala kata so and tell us how things unfolded silang tenday ya fo nyi ko wol nyi nata na labanya dile another interesting scenario arose on the judgment day tell us about ku do fana nata wuli kiti telu kito kuntu lumula me ya longa keta sola koti judgment was scheduled for 10 am ke kiti telu ndi men wato men kam wolam talantang we were all in court as expected ndel bebe kiti bunda la ko jiko bala nyame the judge did not come to court ndu kiti ndir la nyim manna kiti bunda for talang clean nin tala everybody was anxious mo bebe dewndin nervous mo bebe sularin mo be abe akata mo be dewn koti where was he abe no mindole ata kiti tela the the judge was in his chambers abe ata kiti ndila bala office o kono wotumo how did you know that ite ye wolo nyaadi le well we were all there right at the in fact we were going up and down between the court and the chambers asking the clerks about the time it's time for judgment but the answer is my lord is in chambers bari mbele bi jenu mbe tanin nala mbe selenin jiolan ka kila ko lu nyinin ka wato la ko kitite wato sitale bari ka jabiro men dinna wolam de kitindir la nyim bala office ko was his lordship in his chambers alone o ata nyin kidi tela nyin ada mala bala no office ko no ba the the room nga nga moy la moy kumo mem moy which i cannot confirm independently because i did not see it me ya lon ko nta to nya ya ndino la ndam man kum kilo ko katu fango nya maaje was that there were plain cloth officers in his chambers ko molle bala office ko no wotumo men ya lon ko ibu ka uniform dum bari service la le moy Which and service did they belong? Boran na tanko bunda fanna jumaldo. Well, we believe that it was the then NIA. The latter la the latter men na wolam nyinti wotumo wo NIA wolu men be caring because the NIA are following our proceedings on a daily basis. That wo NIA wolu be bularin to lanyin kito no mali lolunding. But at 1:30 when the judge came to court bari talan klin nin tala bilin kiti ndir la fonata kiti bundala he came with a judgment that resulted to a conviction anin kiti tew men nata nyola wolam nyimolu pour que sorong but the way he walked into the uh, into the court bari atama to dun tanan kiti bungu kono nyameng delivered a marathon judgment anata kuma jang sata je men kata kiti tew kenyati walked out of the court back to his office anata finti kiti bunda kono nyameng kata la office auto created a lot of doubts we hakili nyami jamale sabu about his personal well being Uh, mentally ntate fango kumo fango tara nyala because what we are made to understand was that these officers in his chambers had to get him pin him down to reverse his judge previous judgment katun tele nata mem moy wala nyinti ko nyin officer lu menu ma uniform du menu bala officer ko no ya sindi le force o kan pour atanyanta kito tela nu nyaming ka wo faling ka kudo ki je me yalon ko men nin kiti atela kiti te nya pareta men na nun men ni wote klinti and i can believe this because i can see it written all over his face adu mbela la wala ka to hanni ate fango nyaada jube e balon na nyaada le to and the way and manner he came in and delivered his judgment and out of the court aning anata dum kiti bu mo kono nyameng ana nya 
anin ay kumo nyim banke nyami anin biraye bandi anata finti of kitu bunda kono nyami wolbe mutaban sero le so you believe there was judicial interference Interference in the judiciary. That was obvious. What was the basis of the conviction? Was it that letter of supposed letter by Sabali or supposed statement by Sabali? For Yalani Yamena Wala Mindiko Sabali. Yeah, that was the only evidence of the prosecution. So obviously, that is the only basis of the judgment. Did you appeal? No, I, I did not file an appeal because my client instructed for his own peace and safety and tranquility to let the matter rest. But another interesting situation arose before the judgment when the obviously even the gallery who attend the court knows that uh, these people will end up with uh, an acquittal and while that trial is going on to ensure that he is not discharged and acquitted and freed. Another charge was leveled against Dr. Ba again. And another abuse of office. And this time that was tried by the Bajal Magistrate's Court. And Silo Magistrate Kiti Bundala Kitota. Once this was completed. Bring in the high court. High court drum, we continued with the one in the magistrate's court. Ntententa kaudo taman the member magistrate's court. Wouldn't judicial economy have demanded that they consolidate the cases? Oh, kiti bunda ni walman sembo ni zora puka in case flow ni beta ke beta ke kafundi ni mama kaka killing. The high court has obvious jurisdiction to hear any matter. Na kiti bunda ba ni high court. Wali ya silo soto le puka kuo kundi lamu ni kito lem. But the reason for the second charge was the anticipation that this man may be acquitted. That warranted a second charge against him. And that went up to ending when it's time for judgment. When the state filed a nolly. Bring man sakunda la karo wole kudundi ko noli prosecute that they are no longer interested in prosecuting. Ko imang sola soto kote ke puruka njing kito tamani. But that was after serving his two years sentence already. Bari woyata na ayala sanji fulo ni la serondro ayo la fukapare. Interesting. Yes. But your belief is these are trumped up charges. For what objective? Yeah, the primary objective of Booth is to ensure that what the former president said was right. He did not give instructions for the arrest and prosecution of uh, Justice War. That was, Are you saying, Mr. Mboch, that he lied? And in order to cover up for that lie, these people had to go to jail? 
Attorney General, Solicitor General, and Secretary, Secretary General, General of the Government. Exactly. Let me focus on what I'm going to go. Nundo President, I'm going to jump on the Kumasoto Balolo Fire Fund. I'll have a cartoon. I'll be okay. No, I'm going to be a member of the Kumasoto Balolo Fire Fund. I'll be okay. No, I'm going to be a member of the Kumasoto Balolo Fire Fund. I'll be okay. No, I'm going to be a member of the Kumasoto Balolo Fire Fund. I'll be okay. No, I'm going to be a member of the Kumasoto Balolo Fire Fund. I'll be okay. No, I'm going to be a member of the Kumasoto Exactly what happened because uh, the issue of justice war when the American embassy got involved changed the whole scenario. Well, Keta, can you bring America the embassy or your double justice war or court to draw? And they were coming to court. They were coming to court. And we cannot let them get They were coming to court on every sitting. See, was he in Kito Bekela or we cannot let them get But that was a very expensive cover-up. Well, it led to the trial of and conviction of all three top government officials. And government officials. The, the most senior civil servant. Alifa balet nungkatu ila palaso lumenu bebulu amanke dindim palasiti katu memmarata banko do kula bela banko do kula bela kundonko dabe wale kono. But all these things happened in a climate uh, wherein the executive had little tolerance for defense lawyers who were basically a nuisance to Imbe them or defense lawyers who were pretty much a stumbling block in for the government Securing conviction in cases in which they were interested in. Nimbe kera jamani la meya longo, akera jamani meya longo, akera jamani kola ngolo kono meya longo. Ibi kani mulebe bi taki kitindi. Executive memu santong kuti imambu nyani hormo soro ni loyal meya longo lega tara lori ni moli tu mi moli. Hani kabi kani ke dabu la kitiol ni kono. Loyal ni mfana hani kuwa kufenge ibu kana hormo ni bunya tamanda aku ni kono. Perhaps yeah. let's not cast it in cast it in institutional terms. Mkana let's mkana just call kubunda. the personalities. Yaya Jamme. Mkana samba ni ndoku bunda la sila nga samba mwukum kilina la kuwala wala yaya jamme. Wanted convictions in cases in which he was interested in. Alafita kapuru ka sorondiro e soto puru mwola miyala ngutumi mwola andu atayi sulo soto kesi nyundole. And had little tolerance for defense counsel who were making things difficult. And nungu loyal miyala ngutumi mwola katara lori wa mwole utumi mwole nye abukaso ngwoli ye miyala ngu wole bilo wole utumi mwole abukaso ife wole loro utumi mwole ye. Yes, um... I think you are giving a little bit of credence to his uh, reactions. It's a zero tolerance, not little tolerance. Namira munta telao balanda ibo nyinyi andikane kafu little wale mdomanding ae songo domanding kia manso mume kele wale mzoro zero tolerance abuka pare kaola kumofo kaola kuofongo ta fereng. He's referring to defense lawyers. I'm saying he had zero tolerance for lawyers. Ha wale mloe alumeni alonko eka lo muta moli ye ate mampare wala kuofongo ta la nyao nyandi nyama. I didn't realize it was that bad, but thanks for that correction. Can you give us examples of some of uh, some of the events that took place, which suggest that he had zero tolerance for for, for lawyers? Well, you, my colleagues who came before me, mentioned some examples. Yes, But I was part of the defense team in the Baba Job trial. And we all agreed that the shooting of the then and our senior, learned senior counsel, Usman Silla, and we agreed that I was as a result of his defense of Baba Job. And the case of uh, my fatty also. And my fatty, what happened to Mr. Fatty? 
We were all part of the same team. After Mr. Silla's case and he was evacuated, the next in terms, not seniority because I senior him, but the next in charge of the case, was Mr. My Fati. Mr. My Fati. And then I am made to understand that uh, his accident was not uh, a coincidence but designed. Ala accident, I moto accident on Mensoto. A manke ko kule meya longko a bentafe. But if fair city ring olum, ye men fero city a kama pruka da bundi kolko. To get rid of him in the defense as well. Well, kada bundi wo mumolu ye meni alongko be lori nung ba mutamoli. And I got confirmation of this fact. And unata wo to ya keso sotong. The team that conducted the the accident. A four mole menu. You mean the team that staged the accident? That Steve managed the accident. Personally <laughs> made these confessions. Myself, whilst I was in prison. Who, who, who's that? Jumala Wodi. I can't recall the names. <laughs> Mr. Mboj, we can give you a piece of paper to write down the name. No, I cannot uh, recall the names. <laughs> uh, but I think my Is that a way out of the situation? You no. could still write the name down, Mr. Mboj. No, it's not one. It's a team. It's a team. Which makes it easier for you. If no. you can't what remember one, one you could remember the other. Uh, my learned friend who came before me, Nene Cham represented them in the court for their um, mandamus. <laughs> Compelled their appearance before the court and they were discharged unconditionally. It was a team of seven members. Junglers? NIA personnel or what? Jungula Lemban for NIA do Gula. They don't belong to the junglers. This is another group that is conducting massacres, accidents, carrying out uh, personal attacks against critics in any way. As long as they are given instructions, they carry it out. Do you recall the name of the group? I know they are within the army. But they were moved from the main uh, from the barracks to the state house. So they were among the state guards. state guard And what kind of uniforms did they wear? They don't wear uniform. They don't wear uniforms. And I can who, tell you how they the even leader? sorry. Who was the leader of the group? No, this is what I'm saying. I can't recall the names because I wrote even their stories down on a piece of paper. But I lost papers, papers, but I can't remember the stories. I'll give you a list of names and tell me whether any of them uh, rings a bell. Yeah, 
familiar, that Fansu. I think Fansu was one of them. I think I, uh, I can Fansu. recall that name. Because they were detained in mile two. I found them there. And they were coming individually to come and tell me their own story. They were junglers. All right. I, I, I didn't know they were junglers, but I know they had jeeps. By, by, by jeeps, you mean four by four? Military jeeps. And they have taxis. They have vans. They have trucks. And these were the vehicles that were used to coordinate the accident of Mr. Fati. But uh, how many of them this method of eliminating uh, enemies by way of staged accidents. By in time under the Nyala Puruka City, Moka Mialong, Yawol, Lem Kakeni, Nyala, Mem Accident, or Siloti. Or vehicle tampering was not limited to just Mr. Fati. Commander Mr. Fati Dronade. Yeah, I agree with that. Hanson Tawalade. Could you give us other examples where you believe? Uh, these methods were used. First, Ms. Alo Dol Dina, it is a lot of diamond to call in Taman Rinya Sifa, or Anton Inferi Sifa, the old city of Mari Fanankam. I had the personal experience myself. The Fango Kumum Felejang Akatanale. Tell us about them. Mafanya Wotawa. Well, the first one was, I believe, an NIA officer. Follow, follow, Lata Lako, NIA Dukula. Name? Oh. Well, at the time, I didn't know the name. But through my own investigations, but I later realized it was uh, Mr. Lamin Bojang. Residing where? Jambanjeli. Um, the first attempt at my was even at my house. Which, which year was that? Sanjuma. In Brikama, this was in 2006. In 2006, during the treason trial. Of which case? Um, Bunja Dabo and Co, Farin Sanyang and Wasakamara and others. Where Bunja Dabo, Farin Sanyang, Wasakamara, and Kotengo Lakito beke kantu moment. Where were the proceedings holding? Kiti onyenga kenu mindole. At the Yundum Bar. Uh, yes, Yundum Barracks. Kakito lini lake Yundum Sojar Cordal. Proceed. What happened? Nekata. I was, I already started my Maghrib prayers. And my sister ran to call my attention. And there was somebody in my car. Where was the vehicle parked? Inside your premises or outside? The vehicle was inside my compound. Was it a fenced property? The property is fully fenced with a gate. But I caught my prayers. Whilst coming out, I had the bang of the door. When I came out to the gate, I saw this vehicle zooming off with top speed. Can you describe the vehicle? It's a four-wheel. It's all black. A baby finding with tinted glasses a from baby ring. and without a number plate. A number te moto nyinna. What does what did you learn from that? Well, at the moment I immediately sense that this is a, a plan a plan execution of an evil.
hakilo e memuta o temboto ko fere sitiringo lo nyenti me ya lonko amario ya wuli men kamma wolem kamma si boke bayi ho kabo juma kam well i suspected then that it was the nia nu sobita o tembo ko nia o le i don't know the person atu ma mario long because i knew then that they drive do sort of cars atu o tembo ngalo ne ko ite le kawo moto fason lu borindi but then Uh, my mind just tell me to let it go because it's not safe to chase somebody who is trying to put you in trouble you have chasing trouble so i let it go baring hakilo nata nyindi nako nyin tutu laje ayeta katu momen lafta ma nyinyoma si ba jawo kelete mari la pour que o bay ima kalangolong amankoy but that was not the end of it was it but ko nyin dandula mangi wodo defo no certainly not ani amanda wodo de proceed The yeah. second time, another plan execution like that. was during my trial. At the Banyan Magistrates Court. Banyuno kiti bunda bala Magistrate Court. I parked my car outside the court. Nana moto londi kiti bunda ebanta. Went to the court. Data kiti bunda la. Came back. Muruta na. At the end of the case. Ring kito nyimbanta. And I was going home with my family in the car. Nina Dimbaya lu bebe moto kono mbese ikang. But then uh, my tire was sinking. Nina moto singo be jara jara kang. And I could feel from the steering that there is something wrong with the vehicle. Hani baro membe mbulo kono ayaita ndina kukule keta motola. Then I could not stop inside Banjul to check. Malono banyunu sate o kono pour ka djube. I drive until I got out of Banjul. Na moto borindi o nyale fom fintita banyunu. And stop to check my car. Lota pour ka na moto djube. My tires bolts were all loose. Na moto singula bulongo lu yewulu be yom fandile wotu mo. And two have dropped already only three were remaining. Flo be jolon tale fang amunta sabole tuta idinkirato for each of the tires for each of the wheels or just one moro moro singol be bam fo moro je du singol lead driver side drive for la caro drong and then i call my family in the car to come and see as witnesses nan na di mbaya lu commande menu be mfe moto ko no pour fana ye finti ye naje ye ke sedo ti and that ring a bell in my mind That the NIAs are following my case on a daily basis. And this could be another trap. Get me involved in an accident. And uh, there would be a third time. Certainly, yes. Certainly, yes. There... Tell us about that. Uh, This was also during the treason trial. Um, it was time for Tobaske. And I was going home to the village. And I had my whole family in the car. But then the vehicle was loaded, fully loaded with Moto be sharing abe faring. I can even more than 11 people. All the seats were occupied. I packed even the boys at the boot. Moto mo moto be faring a tap. Hani na kamba ndi ngulu ngesi dolu sindi na moto koma. Um but then due to the load. Bari moto la duno la kulia kamma. I could sense from my staring when I started driving. Ringa moto borindo da muta Nganyin crossi baro bembulo kono nga crossi ko that there again there is a problem with my car on na moto ay ello soto le kotake i stopped lota and checked the tires na moto singulo nyili jibe but none of them was seeking kilinti je mem ka jara jara wotum but it was dark but why did the bobe dundi wotum it was after maghrib prayers kad wotum mo safo salo fo tambe i didn't notice that my bolts have been missing again ari makoro siko yatara yara yen namoto singulu bulongol le yom fan di kotake this time it was the rare tires alu nyi silo koma singulu so i was driving again and still i sensed that the car was not driving normally 
Wataka muruta moto kono ngada mutaka moto borindi bari kota ke hanimbi ngaje ko moto nyin hanimbi ello biji because it was seeking at the back that to come be jara jara kan was it overload i mean for a seven passenger vehicle <laughs> <to> <laughs> <carry> <laughs> 11 people for do no nyina kuliyalem bam vo munam it's not only the people i loaded a lot of stuff in the vehicle and even the, the roof of the the, the vehicle was loaded. Amanka molo damanti moto nye nga fandile kato hani moto kungo kan santo duni kelula nga baga asulu kiji. But then I just out of caution drive safely and carefully. Bari bitung hakil tuo kama ka moto burindi hakilo anin cross roll anin hakil tuo. But when I finished Kalaji then the, the, the tar road stopped at Kalaji. But what umo mano dan takalaji le, butum brinta ta handphone ngao mano bang kalaji. And then I entered uh, Kiang. Ndun ta Kiang. Then there is uh, uh, gravel and the road was bad. And what umo bere silo sila nsele ta wale kang adun silo ni mambetea. And I was driving. I just had my car broom on the ground. Mbe moto burinde kan tena ta mune moi. When I got down, I couldn't find my tires. <laughs> you couldn't find your wheel. My <laughs> wheels. <laughs> and it was late and dark. And it was raining at, at the same and time. And it was raining But I had no choice. Well, I would understand if the if the Tires had busted. Yeah. Then yeah. Maybe yeah. we could yeah. say it's weight. Yes. But for the for the wheels to wheel away, uh, away <laughs> from, from the vehicle. Along the TV. Kata. Moto singulu buta moto fango balale fereng. And then the cow. How many how many wheels? The two back tires went off. Moto koma simfulo bele buta moto balala. Because the first went this way and the second went the other way. You believe your car was fingered? I believe that I was fingered. 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 I was he passes through my gate at Maghrib time. Akatambi na korda dala fitiri watu 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 fitiri osita. When it is dark. Nindi bodunta. And this time around. And when you silo, I parked my car outside. Nana moto lundi banta. After loading it. I went to pray Maghrib and then came out to start my journey to the village. So again, it occurred to me that it could be the same person who is just trying to make me crash and have an accident. That is it. Yeah, well. And uh, it seemed that during that time you were basically prone to accidents. Yeah, I um, not from natural causes anyway. <laughs> Accidents are never caused by natural causes. Vehicle accidents are not caused by natural causes. They are caused by people. <laughs> what happened? What happened in the first instance? Yeah, several, several. Uh, after those three attempts. Bring wo kusabolu botala. This time it was a taxi. Ninsilo taxi olem. At my gate again. At night again. And at odd hour. Then everyone was in bed. At around what time? This was between 11 to 12.
You must have talent and inkling. Can I talent and you flack and suit? And what happened? I went out for a mission. And I came back between 11.30 to 12. And when I approached my gate, and the full lights was on my, my, my gate, this taxi was parked on my, at my gate. There was a driver inside. And there was somebody between the, the vehicle and my gate. Well, this time it was digging. And I don't know what it was for. So when I approach, the, the one digging got into the vehicle. And drove off again with speed. So when I got to the gate, obviously I saw the marks. Oh, the hole. The hole already, because he started digging. But uh, did you see anything in the hole? No, he could not complete the mission. So I. Just went in, I stood and looked at the vehicle. I could see it zooming with speed. And then I went home and I could not wake anyone because everyone was in bed. How did you feel with all these incidents? What impact did they have on you? Uh, yeah, um, I don't know what impact they have on you. Because uh, it's not out of fear. Because if you have faith, it's difficult to get you harmed. But, but faith when it does not seal you from fear, does it? It's fear that will expose you to the harm. When you have faith in God, you don't fear anybody. You don't fear anything. Were you apprehensive of the situation? Were you worried for your safety and security? Yeah, that is obvious. I was worried. I was worried. Not, not afraid. And uh, more serious things were to happen later. That is about it. This time it was around 2016. Was the end of the Danya Jame regime. And in particular, in December 2016. December karo kono 2016. Um, I got news myself. Nakibaro soto nte fongo pungo. That some lawyers were being listed. We be lawyer lo safe kang for possible arrest. Pro asekeno ye Mario Lumuta. To ensure that there is no one available. Pro kaje ko mo kanana soto. To swear in the incoming president. Pro menu be president na la kalindila. I heard of uh, uh, SM Tambidu. Na my SM Tambidu to fota. LS Kamara. Ning LS Kamara. And myself. And in the fongo kungo. But then um, I had already moved from Brikam at this time. But, 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 before, but before then, let's talk about your accident. 
Yes, uh, that's another very, very interesting accident. Because uh, it's difficult, really difficult, because this time it was a real attempt on my life. This was a truck, ten-wheel truck. And I up to date. I don't know the driver. I don't know the owner. I have not seen them. None of them has been arrested. Neither prosecuted. So the accident just what went. Happened? This accident occurred in August 2016, whilst I was going to work. And I don't know exactly what happened because I was trying to make a call. Malum fango de menkata kato watu mumba kata kampuka kumandiro ke telefonola. I just had. Who was driving? Imali benu moto borondi kama. I had a driver then. I just had a bang on my car. And all I can hear from people around is, he's dead, he's dead. And the news went round that I was dead in an accident. But then God saved my life. Because I would have been dead if not for only God's will and design. Because the truck would have climbed over my vehicle and smash everyone inside. How many people were in the vehicle? I was with my wife and all my kids. I hope this time not 11 people in the car. <laughs> no, not this time, because then I was going with my brothers as well. How serious was this accident? <sighs> This could have resulted to the wiping out of not myself but my family as well. How many, How many people? We were five. How serious was the accident? This truck was driving at a speed of not less than 80 kilometers. This accident And my driver was also rushing to catch up with the 9 o'clock case I had. I do not drive for Fanambe Haujari Motumo Puru in Sefuta, where you were to Talang Kononto, Kito Bembulu Nyanta Menkela. Now, due to a sudden break in front of him, your body was low Sangarale Natake Atenyato. He swerved on the left. Atenata Jenke Mara Carola. I was sitting on the drive on the passenger side. And in a flash of a second. This truck was over my head. The noise was so much that it's like a bomb. And all you could hear was that he's dead, he's dead. But the tire of the truck climbed over the tire of my vehicle. And that's why the truck could not climb over me. But due to the speed of the truck, it had to drag my vehicle up to almost 10 meters from the scene. up to almost 10 meters from the scene. Dragging, pushing my car like that up to a fence. 
ayel namoto kuruntu o nyale hanu foka nakindi sansango bala that's where the driver could stop his truck drive o nyala moto londino jele but i could see the bumper of the truck over my head bari moto nying e ala bompa be wolam nyinte ala ko kubero membe ko mala no jeng kuntole that is how serious the accident was in accident jaw yata ten were you conscious throughout o waro be be fambule ba yeah i was conscious um, ah manke to mbe nyala mbe fambule my son was on my lap ndima be sirin wuto le ka his head smash on the dashboard ora kuma senta moto ni nyato we got three, three fractures on the head ay farada sa saba soto ay ay barmada saba soto a fomoto akumoto i myself i i didn't realize that i got a fracture ndefa ngo tembo de malon ko en kulo e ello soto le until i wanted to get out of the vehicle for what men left aka finti moto ko when i realized that i had a fracture tembole ngalon ko mfana nga bara moso tole but then those who came to the scene to help me out remenu na taje kanante mako e purnga finti moto ko no not open the doors because they were all smashed man dalu nyilo yele no kato dalu be tetale wotumo i had to improvise to get myself out of the vehicle fo nga fero le ke ngam fam finti ndi moto ko no nyami How could you survive that impact? What isolated you from the impact of the car, from the impact of the of the hit? of the of the truck? Kole ani me alonko alate kan akeno ro nyali do fo inar na bo e kanano wodo fo ko. Did your vehicle have airbags? No, there was no airbag in the car. It's a Moto nyim man fo nyo boto soto men kan molu tankandi. I was wearing my seat belt. Na belto be mbala moto la siram belto and that's why my son went over and hit the dashboard wala ente kanan de bar wala yake ndingu mem be nguto kan ate munta ate nyef fayta nyato ak mo senta moto wero la nyato wero two things to learn from that ufula be wala karanna ak wor where your seat belt ila belto city don't hold a kid on place a kid on your lap sitting in the front of a car kana din ngota ya sika ni be mo siri muro nyaado ay si wuto kan muro nyaado mr chair we take the first break and we will return later to you ngola ngana murno thank you council and thank you mr mbo you will come back in 30 minutes to 30 thank you very much meeting is adjourned Gamtel G Fiber now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured and accessible to homes, businesses and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. pastry bakery and quality food ck restaurant is the only place to be we do catering for birthdays weddings and all related services we have all kinds of local foods american european and even beyond and have a taste of our local juice ebe and other services at ck restaurant customer satisfaction is our priority Oh, like it.
take the end. Love like fire. Wow. Fire. I'm going to like 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 fire. I'm going to in case, just 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 in case, in natural beauty, that melanin dripping, we do have stuff for you as well. And when you see skincare products, you can see vitamin. In fact, the last commercial being the phone, what do you want to do with your doctor? 9A grade, right now. Wow. We do have bundles as well. Hair. What do you want to do? You can see the little bit of a little Wow. What do you want to do with we have that classic suitcase. You can use Samsonite. You can use any brown of suitcases though other than Samsonite. Come on, let's go to the airport. There is Samsonite. We have to use it. Wow. You can use it. Wow. Skin. You can use it for skin care products. You can use it for your doctor. You can use it for your doctor. You can use it for your skin care specialty. You can use it for your skin care specialty. You can use it for your skin care specialty. Patricia Reiner, Kiwi Eye the whole range, Lighten Up Gold, um, Tomatine, I mean the list can just go on and on and on and on. Lipolo Hanrek Lui Taral Jiginla, Chiyo Yurek Lanyodok. Skin Care Plus, Mwinsi Gambia Rek, Nyunga United States, Nyungi Gambia Fi, Bepare, Bude Yangi anywhere in Europe, Munne Laku Mail. Within three days, Rek, Nyeti Fan Rek, Nga Jot Saidu. Mwinsi Lu Rek, Deng La Consult Temi. Balani La Jaidu, then you have a free consultation for you to know exactly what you have to do with your skin. Then you have to know what you have to do with perfumes, you know, fragrances, men's shirts, accessories. We do do dresses as well. We do blouses. I mean, we do shoes. Name it, we do them. Skin Care Plus 2020 is our year of perfection. Zero tasks. Who make any real me fake? Can what if I tasks? Can what if I'm problem with product? Can I'm? Can what if I'm problem with picture? Because I'm not fake. I'm like new law. Get plastic fee.